fierce guardian and shit? Yeah, I thought that might be. Yeah. Free oh, counter spells in a casual no, game? No, I'm like. Because he fiercely guards his identity. Oh my ah, goodness. Uh, okay, <laughs> flavor Flavor means that I'm cool with that's, this. That's I'm totally only, cool with that's this. That's the only counter spell I actually have in this deck. I like it. For that reason. I like it. Hello there. I'm Carlos, and this is Kingdoms, where all your nerdy dreams come true. Today, we have an awesome episode of Kingdoms and Friends for you. We recorded this video at Game Grid Lehigh and uh, had a great time playing with everybody. If you're interested in playing with us in person or online via spell table, consider checking out our Patreon, patreon.com slash kingdoms TV. We'd love for you to join the kingdom, join the community. So check it out. I'm Worthy, I'm a patron here at Kingdoms, and today I'm playing Evelyn the Covetous. My intent is to steal all of your stuff and turn it into, turn them all into vampires, and just take over. My name is Jason R, I'm with Kingdoms, and I'm playing uh, Wilson, Refined Grizzly, and Shameless Charlatan. Backstory on Wilson in Dungeons and Dragons world, he's a grizzly bear that has fooled an entire city with charisma rolls, and they think he's like a nobleman, I believe. So Wilson is going to be whoever he wants to be. We have a bunch of other clone effects, and so hopefully we'll be stealing other people's ideas and costuming them. I'm Bryce, and I'm going to be playing the Scarab God. Um, he's a god that wants to have a zombie party. He wants to have the zombies from anybody else. Doesn't matter what they are, he just wants them to be zombies, and they'll be nice little 4-4s four to, you know, beat down. Hey, my name is Keith. I am Keithulu Cards on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, I make uh, high concept 3D altars as well as in, uh, engraved foil textured cards. I am playing my solid brass Beckett brass deck. The, the goal of this is to play a bunch of pirates with evasive or powerful enter the battlefield effects and uh, then ninjutsu them back into my hand with a bunch of, of spooky ninjas. So ninja pirate tribal. It'll trump at 12. Oh, so close. Oh, that's wow. pretty all right. I will draw, play a temple of deceit, scry. I will leave that there and I'll pass. Okay, draw for turn. Play a vine glimmer snarl. I'm gonna reveal an island so it enters untapped. Pass turn. Untap up, keep draw. I will play a command tower. Tap said command tower for a dark ritual. Playing a soul ring into an arcane signet. Shipping the turn. I uh, I draw a card. After that, uh, this feels downright pathetic, but I am going to play a Kazool's Cliffs. Tapped and pass the turn. Right. <laughs> we'll get there. I'll get Scarab God out, but won't be able to do anything with Scarab God. That's true. He'd probably get shot or something. Let's go this mountain. I'm going to tap for blue and play preordained. Pre Scry two, then draw a card. Nice. Go like that and draw this card. I will pass the turn. Draw for turn. Play the island. We're going to cast Nature's Lore. So I'm nice. going to search for a, a forest card, put it onto the battlefield tap, then shuffle. We we'll get Tropical Island and then pass the turn. I tap. I'll keep draw. Play a fetid pool, tap, and then I'll play my first zombie. Tap that for blue, tap that for black. Two colorless, and play a will help. Oh yeah. That is quite the zombie. They liked it too. Yeah, the, the crowd, the crowd <laughs> showed up for you. I'll uh, draw a card for the turn. Play a command tower, tap that, and play a sad little moon circuit hacker. 2-1 Ninja with uh, whenever it deals combat damage to a player, I can draw a card. And then if it didn't enter the battlefield this turn, I have to discard a card. Pass the turn. And tap, upkeep, and draw. Let's go the Swamp. I will pass. Untap, draw for turn. Gonna play Yavamaya Coast. We're gonna Farseek. So search for a Plains, Island, Swamp, or mounting card and put it onto the battlefield tapped. Someone has a blood moon, it will make me so sad. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody's I was playing, playing a more fun deck with red. 
I'd play a card that said, um, you know, the price of progress. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yep. Then we're going to cast Shameless Charlatan and then pass turn. Untap, upkeep, draw, and play Filled of the Dead. Well, hello there. And it enters tapped. He keeps warning us that he really can't do anything. When he goes off, we will all know mm -hmm. that he was full of it. Yep. Jason, I'm going to attack you for three. Okay. Do have enough. I will play Scarab God and ship the turn. All right. Untap. Draw a card for the turn, as is my right. This seems a little early to play this out, but eh, whatever. I'm going to play Cover of Darkness, naming ninjas. Cover of Darkness is an old enchantment that says as it enters the battlefield, you choose a creature type, ninjas, and creatures of the chosen type, all creatures of the chosen type, have fear. They can't be blocked except by black creatures or artifacts. I think I go to combat. Yep. Worthy, I'm gonna go ahead and hit you for two. I'll take two. Trigger, I will draw a card. This is weird. I think I'm gonna have to discard Mistblade Shinobi. Second main phase. I'm gonna do us all a bit of a favor and I'm going to Vandal Blast the Soul Ring. Okay. Good target. Pass the turn. I am on not your, dis I'm not I'm not upset about that. On your end, I'm going to draw draw three cards and put two back. Brainstorm. I will put those back. Draw. Play an island. I'm gonna take out we don't want the scarab goblet out there, right? Probably not, definitely not. Yeah. Feed the swarm. So I destroy it and I lose life. Is it five? Five. Equal to its, to its mana cost, yeah. Got five. Okay, it's gonna come and it's gonna stay here until your end step and then it's gonna go into my hand. Okay. Makes sense. Yep, pass the turn. And your end step goes into my hand. I don't know why that would, why you would have thought that would have made you the enemy. You're my best friend right now. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Untap, draw for turn. All right, we're gonna play Blutsedru instead of blowing up Field of the Dead. Always feels bad when I do that. Yes, we are going to cast Master Biomancer. Each creature I control enters the battlefield with a number of 1-1 counters on it, equal to this guy's power. In addition, and it's a mutant in addition to its other types. I like it. Then we are going to cast Wilson. He is a bear warrior mutant, and he enters with two additional plus one plus two counters. Vigilance reach trample ward two, and it can't be countered. And that's my turn. Untap, upkeep, draw. It's gonna be a sad bajukabog. Worthy, we'll get yours. Okay. It's not hurting anything right now. And there's something over there that I want. <laughs> <laughs> Keith, I'm gonna send and we'll halt it. You? That makes sense. I have been hurting you. Like I said, I don't have much to do and I hope that's turn. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> I'll uh, untap, draw a card for the turn. For my land drop, I think I have to play a Jwari Ruins tapped and then I gotta use as much mana as I can every turn, right? That's how you're supposed to play the game? That's right. So I'll play a Corsair Captain. Uh, it's a 2-2. As long as it resolves, uh, when it enters the battlefield, I will create a treasure token. It, it, it also says other pirates I control get plus one, plus one. Uh, combat. If I if I can loot, I always take the opportunity to loot, right? Bryce. I'm I sorry, I was waiting Jason. for it. I was <laughs> waiting for I it. Didn't, I, I was like, like can I, you see that I'm open over no, here? I, I did I not like, see in my head. For a second, head, I was thinking just, that. I'll go to my combat damage trigger. I'll draw a card. I'll discard a Rakdos Signet. That feels weird. Pass the turn. That does feel weird, yes. Untap, upkeep, and draw. Uh, Maestro's Theater, uh, when it enters, I need I search for a basic island, swamp, or mountain card and put it into play tap. So I have to sack it. I'm gonna gain you the life right now. Thank you. And then I'm gonna go after that mountain. That will be it. I'll pass. Undo. Draw. We are going to pay three. We're gonna cast Robe of the Arc Magi. Ooh, I love that card. It's an equipment so that says whenever equipped creature deals combat damage to a player, I draw that many cards. Equip four or equip shaman, warlock, or wizard one. So okay. we are going to equip one uh, to Master Biomancer. We'll attack <laughs> Bryce for six. So he has vigilance and he's two four. Down to thirty-two. I will draw two cards. Yes. <laughs> the gam drops. gamble paid off. Perfect. Yes, it did. Uh, pass turn. Untap, upkeep, and draw. I'm going to tap everything, and I'm going to play Horde Wing Scab. Ooh. So other zombies I control have flying. And okay. then when one or more zombies deal combat damage to one or more of your opponents, you may draw cards equal to the number of opponents dealt damage this way. 
if you do discard that many cards. Nice. So it's a loot, like yeah. what's been going on over here. And with that, since Will Help now has flying, I'm gonna swing three at Jason. Okay, in response to that, Wilson will become a copy of Hordewing Scab. <laughs> so now he's a 5-5 five, five flying zombie, and I will block. Mmm. Mmm. No combat damage is dealt. Masquerade. Yeah, that was... <laughs> That was sneakier Costume than the, party. that was sneakier than the ninjas. I, I I forget those type of things. Yeah, I do too. We'll see if I remember that in the future. <laughs> <laughs> now, but now Wilson can no longer become anything until Wilson like, nope. blinks. He is he still is my commander, so he has this ability. Oh, he does. So as oh, long as I have three right. mana, you're I right. can just change it. I forgot how that worked. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah, I'm gonna die. <laughs> These costumes are gonna go. Psh, psh, psh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Since I tapped out for that, yeah, yeah, pass turn. Yeah, that hurts. Uh, ooh. Draw a card for the like turn. I told you, my beginning was scary, but my hand is not. <laughs> I am going to play a coastal piracy. Nice. Coastal piracy is an enchantment for four mana, two blue blue. Whenever a creature I control deal deals combat damage to an opponent, I may draw a card. Uh, I am going to go to combat. Worthy. I'd Can like to attack you with a Corsair Captain. Okay. 2 2. Are you leaving this guy back as well? And Moon Circuit Hacker, I think I am going to attack Jason because fear. So 2 and how for, me. That for me. 2. Also two. Okay. I have a couple of triggers. Well, I'm going to draw two cards first. I'm going to stack the triggers so Coastal Piracy happens first. And then I'm going to put Moon Circuit Hacker on. So it's draw, draw, loot. And then draw. Whoa, that's where all my land went. Okay. And discard. I'm gonna discard a dark water catacombs. Okay. And then I'll play my land for the turn. And my land for turn will be a drowned catacomb. Enters the battlefield untapped because of my swamp. Nice. nice. Pass. Go ahead. I am shields down. Untap, upkeep, and draw. Tainted Peak. As land for turn. Adds one colorless, or I can add black or red if I can control a swamp. Nice. Let's bring her out. You know she has hey, flash, hey, right? Hey. So even though she has flash, I want to bring her out. You're right. Okay. Okay. Sounds yeah. good. And then uh, when she enters, um, or another vampire enters under my control, exile the top card of each player's library with a collection counter on it. And That's really good oh. for you. That's what I needed. And then like once each one. turn, I may play a card from exile okay. with a collection counter on it, and I may spend mana as though it were mana of any color to cast. Go into exile with collection counter on them, and if that all pass. Okay. Untap. Draw for turn. We are going to cast Silhana Ledgewalker. Hexproof. Can't be blocked except by creatures with flying. Cool. And then we're going to cast Biomancer's Familiar. Activated abilities of creatures I control cost two less to activate. This can't reduce the cost to less than one. Pay one. Wilson is now Master Biomancer. <laughs> Pay one. It's kind of good. Quit. Kay. That Biomancer's familiar is going to get nasty. Yeah, let's go ahead and go after Kithulu. Yep. So hitting you for four, Commander. And then I'm going to draw four cards. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that uh, keeps working out for you. Yeah. I will pass the turn after that. Untap, up keep, draw. Go to combat first. You can't do his little flashy thing in you. I'm going to swing at you, Jason, for three in the air. Yeah. It's going to trigger. I'm going to draw, and then I'll have to discard one because I drew one. That doesn't do what I wanted. Second main phase. Scare of God. And I'll pass turn. Untap. Uh, no upkeep triggers. I will go ahead and draw a card. I'll play an island. Double check how much mana I have. That is seven. So I am going to go to combat. Uh, I am going to attack Jason with the Moon Circuit Hacker, and I am also attacking Flash. Worthy with the Corsair Captain. Okay. Oh. Before combat damage, I am going to have an effect. Okay. I will tap three, four, to ninjutsu the Moon Circuit Hacker back into my hand and put Higure the Stillwind onto the battlefield, oh, attacking you. After that resolves holding priority, I will tap the island to ninjutsu Corsair Captain back into my hand. Sure and put the Moon Circuit Hacker onto the battlefield. So you'll take uh, two, two damage and you'll take three. Okay. And then I have a couple of triggers. I will... Drawing three cards. It's not looting because it came in this turn. It's not looting, yep. Yeah. So I will be drawing th three and searching my library for a ninja. It doesn't really matter what order I do this in. I'm just going to do the draw first, I think. 
is the smarter choice so that I know what I've drawn and then I search. Sure, that makes, that makes sense. sense. Yeah, most that makes information. Sense. And now I'm gonna search. <laughs> I'm gonna get a Mist Syndicate Naga. Is that the one that makes copies of itself? Yeah. Oh. With Cover of Darkness? Yes. Yeah. Uh, that goes in my hand. Crack the treasure, cast a soul ring, tap the soul ring in the command tower, recast. Corsair Captain, get my friendship back. <laughs> Yay. A friendship feels right with pirates. Yeah, I will pass. Six cards in hand. I We're will good. untap, upkeep, and draw. Let's do the Molten Echoes. As it enters, I choose a creature type, and then whenever a non-token creature of the chosen type enters the battlefield under my control, I create a token that's a copy of that creature. That token gains haste. I exile at the beginning of the next end step. That doubles Evelyn. So when one of my vamps will come in, I'll get the two two triggers off of her. And if you clever imposter the molten echoes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna play an involving wilds, and then I will pass. We're gonna crack this at the end of your turn. Yeah, we're just gonna get a regular forest. So untap, up key, draw. So here is an island for the turn. Okay, we're gonna pay a colorless for a Drillworks Mole. It's an artifact creature mole. Pay two and tap this. Put a plus one plus one counter on this and put a plus one plus one counter on up to one target commander creature you control. So because I have two master biomancers with a total power of six, it's gonna get enter the battlefield with six plus one plus one counters. That makes sense. Okay, so we are going to equip there. We're gonna attack Cthulhu for two. Alrighty. I'm also going to attack Bryce for three. Okay, uh, and that's it for now. I, that's I'll just take it. Like. I'll take the two. Give you two casual. cards. He's, he's just undercover operative. Ooh, what are you targeting? It's going to become another master biomancer. Of course it is. <laughs> Six counters every time another I think in response enters. to that, to short circuit, I'm going to crack the okay. Evolving Wilds and go after a swamp. So it enters with a shield counter and it enters with six plus one plus one counters. And I am done. Untap, upkeep, um, upkeep trigger on them. You all lose a life. I'm gonna scry one because I control one zombie. Yeah. Oh, that's not a land. I want a land other than that. So the bottom, draw. I wanna play blade stitched scob. Nice. This gives other zombies plus one plus O. Oh. Cool. I'm gonna tap. Field of the Dead in Command Tower. I did get draw me something that would give me mana, but it's like yeah. for my next and other turns. Yeah, you know. I'm gonna I wouldn't be caught swing this at uh, Worthy. You took my land and I, I still remember that. Sure. <laughs> it flies, and and four. flies and it hits me for four. I already attacked him for it. Then I'm gonna have this trigger draw and then I'll discard Tomb Tyrant. And I drew a land and I'll play it. Nice. Oh, yeah. Pass the turn. All right, untap, draw for the turn. And I think I'm gonna play a polluted I'm... delta. I'm gonna crack the polluted delta. Pay life, search my library for this one. That Smoldering came Marsh. So quickly. Uh, Smoldering Marsh does enter the battlefield untapped. I do have two basic lands. After I've shuffled, I you can risk sneak attack. Oh. Listen, I may not have creature removal, but I do have really difficult things to block. I'm sneak attacking Dire Fleet Ravager onto the battlefield. So everyone loses a third of their life? Everybody loses a third of their life rounded up. So I lose 10. I lose 10. Nine. Yep. I'm gonna pay two mana and I'm gonna make target ninja creature unblockable this turn. Higure the Still Wind is unblockable. And then I'm gonna go to combat. I attack Jason with Higure and Dire Fleet Daredevil, Dire Fleet Ravager. How enthusiastic would you be towards blocking? I will stay out of its way. You'll stay out of its way? Yep. We will double block the Dire free Fleet Menace with these two creatures here. I'm gonna make him a copy of Scarab God. Just so when it dies, you can return it to your hand. That's not the end of the world to me. Yeah. Um, it still dies, so that's still a positive to me. Combat damage. I will take two. Um, take three. I draw two cards, search my library for a ninja. This dies. I'm assuming split, that you're gonna split, split the damage. damage. Over there? Yeah, split it between I the do two. split the damage between the two, okay. so they both die. I draw two cards, what? and I search my library for a ninja. I'm gonna search my library for a Moonsnare Specialist. Moonsnare Specialist says whenever it enters the battlefield, return up to one target creature to its owner's hand. I'll pass the turn. I will untap, upkeep, 
and draw. Are you going to put that into your hand, though? Oh, yes. End of his turn? Yeah. Thank you. I think I'm going to do Butcher of Malak here. Oh. oh. <laughs> okay. So it will enter, and it will get a copy. Yep. So we're going to, yeah. Exile, exile. Exile, exile. Dual caster. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. That's Satoru? That's Satoru Umazawa uh, and uh, Walker of Secret Ways, yeah. So I've got Sign in Blood, Dual Caster Mage. The Zier of Many Faces and Rejuvenating Spring. Overcharged Amalgam and another land. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Where are these keeping me off those lands? <laughs> Let's see, the copy does have haste. So there's a 5 4 flyer. So I'm going to declare combat, swing the 5 4 flyer at you. I take five. Then I will move to my end, and this will exile and pass to you. I'm gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> but it's fine, cause it's a costume party. Yeah, we're having fun. Okay, so on top, upkeep, draw for turn. I need a board wipe. <laughs> <laughs> That's cast Wilson, colorless and green. He enters the battlefield with four plus one plus one. No, that's a lie. Two, so 10 plus one plus one counters. <laughs> so we're gonna cast Aqueous Form for a single blue mana, mm -hmm. targeting oh. Master Biomancer for the two mana, uh, two power Master Biomancer. So it says, Enchanted Creature can't be blocked. Whenever this attacks, scry one. I'm gonna delay that. Okay. Oh, nice. I don't want unblock damage coming through to anybody. <laughs> nice move. Thanks. We will then cast Frixian Metamorph. Ooh, we love to see it. Copy of an artifact Response. or creature. Crack the treasure, sneak attack, the dire fleet daredevil, exile the counterspell. Which one, counterspell or delay? We're just gonna counterspell it straight up. Cast it, attempting to target the Phyrexian Metamorph. Response, fierce guardianship. Yeah, I thought might oh, be. Yeah. I Free thought so. Oh, no, I'm like. Because he fiercely guards his identity. Oh my ah, goodness. <laughs> okay, flavor Flavor means that I'm cool with that's, this. That's I'm totally only, cool with that's this. That's the only counter spell I actually have in this deck. I like it. I like it. No, you get it. Okay. It's going to enter as a Butcher Malakir. Is that what its name is? Ten counters on it. Well, <laughs> I hope this is the right call. We're going to hit Keith with everything. I probably die, but I am going to block the Master Biomancer with the card draw. Okay. And then whatever the next biggest thing is. What is that? Eight damage. Okay. And then how much do I take? 12, 13, 14. I go to five. These two die. And that's my turn. Untap. Upkeep. I do have two zombies. So we all lose two? Yep. I'll scry two. Don't want either of those. And then draw. That's colorless. Colorless. A blue. I'm going to play in prison on the moon on your commander. Two. In response to that, I will turn it into a copy of Silhana Ledgewalker, and it has hexproof. Mm. Fizzles. Fizzles. I tried. Yeah, that, that was, was a good play. Yep. I'm going to cool. activate Scarab God. Right. I'm going to get Dire Fleet. Daredevil. Dire Fleet, or the, Dire Fleet or Ravager, Ravager is now an orc, pirate uh, an orc Pirate Wizard Zombie. Nice. There's it is exiled from his graveyard, so when this goes to the graveyard, you just need to remember that it will be exiled. Yep. Is that the one that hits our life total or no? Yep, it is. Okay, ETB. So, ETB, so ETB, everybody loses. Boop. So I lose four. I'd leave everything up as blockers. Yeah. Okay. Pass turn. All righty. Draw a card for the turn. Tap one red and sneak Moon Snare Specialist bouncing your commander. Or no, no sorry, the other he, one. He, the Metamorph. He wouldn't have. That's exactly why I changed targets because I realized that the Hexproof was bad. Yeah. So no, but no Butcher on your side anymore. Correct. Nope. Warkite Marauder, I will sneak Warkite, Warkite Marauder onto the battlefield. So something loses abilities, right? Or is that? And becomes a 0 1. Base power and toughness 0 1 till end of turn. Admiral Beckett Brass, the solid brass Beckett Brass, the beastie enters the, the battlefield. Then I pay two, float a, mana, float a colorless mana, and probably lose it to play Grazalax just for kicks and giggles, I guess. Then we proceed with combat. All four, all three of those are going at you, and then I'm attacking you with Warkite Marauder and making the scob that gives all your zombies flying lose all abilities and become a zero one with a, a base power and toughness zero one. Forever? Until end of turn. Okay, yeah, that's fine. So that's four, four in the air coming four at you. Oh yeah, because of the pumps. Yep. Yeah, the pumps. Uh, and then that's gonna be 
no matter what, minimum five coming at you with what you can block right now. Yep. So we will just block Higure, I guess. Higure is going to come back to my hand from Grazzalax. Okay. And then I take... Five and I'll take four. Okay. The only one that is actually going to die is this one, right? No. Moonsnare also is going to die. Okay, so I have some combat damage triggers. Combat damage triggers. Higure is not going to search, but I am going to draw five cards. I forgot that Grazalax cares about each opponent. Whenever one or more creatures I control deal combat damage to a player, I draw a card. And then whenever a creature I control deals damage to an opponent, I draw a card. So I will draw a total of five cards. As expected, nothing costs nothing. Yeah. <laughs> so I pass the turn. Uh, with you out of the game, do the, the things I've exiled of yours go away? Yes, they do. This is your last chance for right, a uh, Molten Echoes. Oh, that's right. All right, untap, upkeep, draw. Uh, okay, let's go three, four. Cormella, Glamour Thief. Nice. So it's so I'll get another. Yeah. But it's legendary. I'll choose the copy to die, and when that dies, um, I have to sack a creature. Yeah. Everybody has to sack a creature. So two, right, the sack happens first, right? Two will enter. We exile. Two. We exile two cards. Oh, Blade of Selves is always fun. Oh my goodness. When that one sacks, you all had to sack a creature. Yep. Did you Did sack that already? You sacked something. Can I can I help? Since Are this you is casual. Absolutely. Pondering that. I would love I was pondering that. That's my thoughts. That's what I'm trying to so I have to do this. And then you cast the plate. Dark ritual. Cast, cast dark, ritual. dark ritual. But you can yeah. pay any color of for the, to cast the for dark that ritual. ritual. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Do you want to tap one of your mountains then instead? Yeah. So that gets me three, four, five. So if I tap those and play, that's the problem is it's going to be minus three, minus three. All creatures get minus three, minus three until end of turn, where X is the number of vampires I control. Each non-vampire. Each non-vampire. Yeah, each non-vampire. So my scab dies. Both of my creatures are dead. I'm shields down completely. But you live. He took care of two of my zombies. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I'll survive the. Oh wait. So I swing the two there. Do I swing with both of them? No, that'd be seven. Just that. So hit you for five. And hit I'm you dead. for two. Oh. Untap. Before my upkeep, I'm gonna pay four. Get scob back as a four-four. It flies, right? To give that flying. Does it? Does it fly too? They both fly. Yep. No. But it doesn't have haste. But it doesn't have haste. Yeah. So I have two zombies. Yep. So you'll lose two life. So I'll hit, so I'll lose two. And I'll scry two. Bottom both of those. Draw a card. Pay the blue, or a regular Cyclonic Rift, your commander. Oh, yep. no. Nice. Nice. And swing in for the win, my swing friend. Swing in for the win. Nice. Good game. Well, that was a pretty fun game from everybody. Everyone got to do something. Uh, Cyclonic Rift, though, is a really interesting commander card. A lot of people don't like it or think it's maybe too powerful. But I think it's amazing for Commander. It can do stuff early on. It can help set you up to win the game. It's seven mana that you have to leave open. Like, it's pretty telegraphed. So anyways, with that, uh, we had an amazing time. And if you enjoy these types of videos, consider smashing the like button and subscribing, as well as checking us out on Patreon, patreon.com slash kingdoms TV. Uh, come join the kingdom. We've got a lot going on over there. And you can do so for as little as $2 a month and join our Discord. So I hope to see you there. Speaking of, a big shout out to our King patrons, Jordan Ritchie and Worthy Glover. You both rule. Also, our awesome samurai patrons are Brian Hallecky, Chandler Carlisle, Chris Crowley, Jason Gardner, Matias Salazar, Morton Christensen, and Revolution Gaming. You are all the pillars of kingdoms. As always, everyone, thanks so much for watching and keep it nerdy. We're done. Johnny, I won a game. It had to be a casual game, not a high power. <laughs> <laughs>